Obviously this is the opening teaser. Hey Best Pally, I'm Allie, and about every two days I get an email from someone asking me to review their massage gun, and my usual response is uh, turning them down, because I am looking out for you. I could become a massage gun channel. Like, I don't think you want about 15 weeks of videos where each week is dedicated to a massage gun review. But then I realized you would probably want to see one video about all of them, so all I had to do was email everyone back being like, hey, how about I put you in one fifteenth of a video? Uh, this will never work. It totally worked! Uh, welcome to my massage gun video and home. I just have a home of massage guns now. Now I usually make fun of unboxings, but an unboxing to the power of 15 is way cooler. <laughs> okay. There we go. 13 massage guns and 13 pieces of massage gun packaging garbage. Now I know I said 15 before, but that's just because the math is weird here. One of the companies sent two of the same, and then I also have three bonus ones that aren't exactly massage guns, but they are massage adjacent and also very interesting, so stick around for that. Now I just realized that all of these need a charge, so I will be using every outlet in my home overnight. But before I can use them, I have this great idea to rank them superficially because you know, you should probably just judge things based solely on their appearance. We're going by looks. Recover fun wins, cause red is dope, this is awesome. Although this one ranks last on coolest name. Best name goes to Robo Time, because yeah! You gonna get your muscles loose? It's Robo Time! Going even more superficial, because not the looks of the gun, but the outer coating, this one has the coolest carrying <laughs> case. <laughs> the Rexo gun wins for looking most like a sex toy. Mifo wins for looking most like a Dyson vacuum. The Voxpre wins for the one that I would like to use at a gym because it looks super sleek and cool. The subjects are all prepared, and myself included, so it's time to try them all out. And I could judge them with scores based on amplitude, frequency, torque, but you don't care about that, you just want to know how good they feel, right? Sure! I'm trying to try out several massage guns. How relevant. You also want to know how noisy they are. So I'm going to do four tests. The first one will be the butt test, which is me pushing hard into a muscle that's big and needs a lot of digging. Don't go to the comments now, just moving on. The second test will be a trap test to see for muscle soothing. So if you're not new to this channel, you know that my traps are always locked up and they're extra sore today because yesterday was back day. So, ow, eh, yeah, I might want a different style of massage for that versus the butt. Third test will be a stall test where I just see how much force it takes for me to make it give up. And then after all that, I guess I'll do a sound test, which will be me turning all of them on at the same time, and then scientifically judging which one is contributing less to the noise. Oh, you were expecting a serious review? Okay, I don't take the review process seriously, but I do take giving you the answers you need seriously, so I will be honestly ranking them for the quietest one, the best small one, the best for digging knots, the best soothing massage, and then, the overall best, based on a balance of value, size, noise, and good feelingness. First we have the Ached Away Pro, it's got a container for attachments, and it is $299 all the way up, but test. Woo, that's digging up in there. Oh, again, no one cut this up and put it somewhere else. It's a little bouncy, ooh. I'm moving on to the stall test. Come on, give up! <laughs> yeah, this dude's powerful. Okay, noted. Next we have the Alki, $169.99. Six attachments. Ooh. This is cool, it has a digital readout. Ooh, come on. There we go. Ha! Now we have our first Whittle guy, the Natco. For attachments, this one is $99. Ooh, he's already feeling a little dinky. Get him a butt. That feels great. We can get it to stall. Easy. So not too powerful, but it is a nice massage. Next we have the Mulan, which is in fact the cheapest, $55 for one. I don't know why you'd need two. Oh, obviously it's a red day. We're feeling red today. Again, four attachments. A little too bouncy when I'm trying to be soothed. This one is as weak as a cheap one should be. Next we have the good old Recover Fun for attachments. This one is cheaper than the other small one, $79. My recovering is a blast. Decent on the soothing. See if I can stall it with my hand. Yep. Too strong for massage guns. Here's the Mifo. This one costs question mark dollars because I could not find it on their site. All they have are earbuds. This one has five attachments. This one's interesting. It's got a double on switch. So here and then here to get the speeds up three total. That's similar to the Hypervolt. Medium powerful, okay. It's a good middle ground. I feel like it's balancing both. Yes. This one's the Apove M3 Pro. 
It's got four attachments and it is $199. Ooh, strong in the butt. Ooh, this is a front runner for being aggressive. Now I'm concerned about the stall test, but here we go. Hey! Now we have the final small one, which is also the most expensive of the little guys, $209. It's got four attachments. Eh. Yeah, honestly, this is the most expensive of the small ones and losing. Now, if you really like having a carrying case within your carrying case, then you'll want this one, the Rexo gun. Oh, I was wrong. The Egged Away is not the most expensive. This one is. It's 369. I guess all that extra zipperage costs a lot. Oh, yeah, that's pretty powerful. Ow, yeah, I should not have done deadlifts yesterday. I'm not mad at this one, except for how it looks. I would call this a front runner for best overall. Let's see if I can stall it. Oh. There. Now we're on to the Robo Time. This one's 199.50. No carrying case and five attachments. Oh, ho, ho. that's so funny that it's called Robo Time and it sounds like a robot from the Jetsons. When it starts off, it's like their car. What? Hey, decently powerful. It doesn't feel too bad for the knots. Can I stop it? Yeah. Down to the wire, we have the Chalk Fit. $199 and six attachments. The most so far, I do believe. Ha, huh? not as strong as I expected. It's not too like, Bouncy, it's more of a massage. Mm. I don't know if I like it as a massage either. And then the final one, the Vox Pre, this one's 169. Woo! Yeah, this one's pretty powerful. I'm not mad at this for any of the aspects. Uh, but can you stand the stall test? How? I don't know if I can anymore. I'm so sore. Woo! I don't think I got that much weaker. I think this one's actually pretty powerful. Narrowing down the tiny ones, it's between these two. And super helpful using them at the same time. This one wins for sure. This comes through with having way more depth. Oh, and it happens to be the one with the case. So here you go. If you want a little guy, that coat at $99 is the one for you. Now I'm gonna narrow down the best for digging out knots. Oh, okay, this guy's ahead so far. Weird looking dude, you're up next. Okay, still pulls ahead. He's getting really excited for the final round. Your final competition, the 8 to 8 Pro. Man, this is a close call. I think I'm gonna have to go on price. The winner at $100 cheaper is the Apove at $199, and this one is $299. That is specific specifically for getting out knots. Now I've got three in the final round for most soothing. Ooh, this is a close call. Now it's robo time. And I'm gonna say robo time takes it. If you are my mom or looking for something a little more not hurdy, I'd say go with this one for the more massaging effects. Now you already know which one's the cheapest, but Honestly, if that's all you're looking at, you wouldn't do that badly to have this one. The difference between all of these is pretty subtle, and if you don't care about getting knots out or like being the best massage, I mean, this is a massage gun. It's working, it's $55, yeah, get it. Now for my scientific sound test you've been waiting for. Guess I can always rate these on which one travels the most. And there we have it. Can you tell? Pretty clear to me. You know, it's funny, all of these going at the same time is still quieter than the Theragun we have here. Wow. Yep. Anyway, this is absurd. I don't know what my channel has come to. Wait, we missed one. Holy crap. Wow. It's so much quieter before now that we have them all going. Okay, but for real, I actually compared them. And of course, the small ones are going to be the quietest. This is the quietest of the small ones. Like, I don't know if you want to recover in a library, then recover fun is your answer. And this one is the quietest of the big ones. Which is surprising because it was also a front runner for power. So if you want to go hard and not too loud, the Apove M3 Pro is your guy. I'm doing budget massage guns. This is not budget, but also it's super loud for a reason. Its amplitude and speed is insane. You all know that I love the Theragun. So if you can't chill out, get this one because this is top of the line, but not included. This is this is budget massage gun. Now we've arrived at the overall winner, which is a balance. You want it to be pretty strong and pretty quiet and pretty soothing and also pretty. My pick is the Vox Pre. It won none of the individual categories, but overall it does all of the things pretty well. And if you'll remember my unbiased opinion from earlier, it is the best looking one. I also like the circular case. If that matters to you, it should not. I just realized that I was using it the whole time talking to you. See, it's good. And now for the bonus massage-like things. Say hello to the rub ball. This is like a massage gun, but in a sphere form. I would say that I'm trying it for the first time on camera, but no, I've been using this for a few weeks now because I got too excited and it's actually really helpful. I like it better than a massage gun, 
specifically for my lower body half, like anything that I can put my body weight on. Oh, and especially on my back. So the problem with the massage guns is that you gotta put pressure inward. And the Theragun kind of solves that by giving you a head that transitions and then also you can grab from different angles. But like really digging into your hamstrings is tough and it would be better if you just had a lacrosse ball to lay on. But what if that lacrosse ball also shook? It's pretty stupid powerful. Oh, and you can <laughs> get in there. So it might not be as versatile as getting a massage gun, but man, it does this really well. Although I would still call it pretty darn versatile because now we're going even less so with just the shoulder situation. And also I need an outlet. If you, like me, very specifically have trap issues, then you want this buddy. Ho ho ho! This is the Elsai Shiatsu and Shoulder Massage. And I've reviewed one of these on my channel before. It really is like somebody's dig. That's a human behind me, right? Right? There's somebody up back there. Also, it's only $41.99, so if you just want to deal with your shoulders, this is pretty great. And again, there's not you forcing a gun into your shoulders. It's just pulling down on these straps and chilling out. It's also heated. Now, I actually have one that I haven't tried out yet. Although you did just see me on this channel go to a chiropractor for the first time. Can I replace him with this? Wheel. This was made for back fixing. Whoa, -ho -ho. the chirp wheel. I just heard a couple cracks. Oh yeah, I should have worn a love. That was three, three cracks. Oh. But this certainly feels like it's reversing my Mr. Burnsing. To fill you in on that vocab word, it's when I sit at my computer like this all day. The chirp wheel is the exact opposite of that. I mean, all I ever want to do is open up my chest and reverse looking at my phone, sitting on my couch. I can see this being really helpful for a lot of people because aren't we all doing that? Final budget massage tech that I'm stoked to try out for you. These little poofy things. I've tried the official expensive ones before, which run for like a thousand dollars. These are one tenth of that at $108.99. To be fair, the other ones come all the way up here, but you know, this will be good enough. My calves can just explain to my thighs what it's like. They are poofing up. I can feel it happening. I'm on medium intensity. I will be moving up to high. It's squishing. I mean, it's not bad. The best part of this is that no, I'm not holding a gun or trying to lean on a ball or pulling down on a thing. I'm just sitting here getting a massage. <laughs> I don't know if you should move around in them. Anyway, I will attempt to link to all of this in the description. I probably have some discounts for you. I don't know, go check down there in case you want to get any of these, including the Theragun, even though this is not a video about how good the Theragun is. <laughs> it's getting squeezy. Wait, I think I have a gun problem. Does anybody want one? I should probably give them away on this channel or something, maybe to my Patreon tallies. I don't know, let me know in the comments. If you didn't see, I actually did a full Theragun review, so I'll put that down there if you want to see that. Hey, Miss Pally, I'm Allie, and this is a battle of the recovery gun. Who wants some? <laughs> I'm pitting Hypervolt against Theragun, and I'm doing it by using my right leg versus my left leg, which is the most.